friendos, it's your girly close seeing back at it again. Oh god. Hi, so I got sent this device called Torvox, and apparently it's like this neat little solution to not having to memorize keyboard shortcuts and have a more intuitive workflow. What I mean by this is that instead of adjusting various settings using your keyboard and mouse, you can instead bind actions to buttons or dials on this controller to do it. From what I can see, it could be really useful for digital artists, video editors, and other creators who work with complicated software and want to make the process easier. I thought it was very interesting because I've seen a couple other creators do reviews on this, though these people would usually be more heavily using it for art, while I see other people talk about it for video editing specifically. Um, as someone who does both, I think it'd be interesting to explore this product. Why not? Remembering things is hard, and people always ask about when my next video is. Uh, the main bottleneck for that is video editing. TBH, the real story is that Torbox saw that I haven't been uploading as regularly anymore, and they heard I hated editing videos, so that they wanted to make it easier on me to make content. Obviously. They're huge fans. Mwah. I'm not going to bore you with the unpackaging process, but here's what it comes with. A quick start guide, safety information, the Torbox device, USB to USB-C connector, and little sleeves for the hardware. As for software installation, it's very easy. I just went to the Torbox website and I found the one for my operating system, Windows in this case, and walked through their guide on each part of the user interface. There's already some presets for some programs which you can edit, but on their website, I also found some additional presets. Since I use Clip Studio and DaVinci Resolve, I downloaded those to check out what suggested key bindings there are. Here's some basic information about the operation and my thoughts on the hardware. Um, the device itself was quite weighty with a grip on the bottom to prevent sliding. It has overall a velvety texture, which is really nice, smooth, uh, but kind of soft in a way, even though the device itself is obviously very solid. It has a really nice long cord. This is great because my PC is on the ground to the right of me while I operate Torbox with my left hand, so it has to go quite a long way. The installation was very easy, and the mapping um, was also quite easy to understand. I really like the downloadable presets aside from the four that come with the out of the box, which I don't use because I don't use the Adobe software. There are 14 buttons slash dials, but there's actually more than that in terms of the inputs because dials move in two directions and they could be also pushed as well. So this means that we have a total map button combination of 42 controls. The device itself um, is pretty compact. I have very small hands, so I was pretty concerned at first if I can easily uh, work with the device, but it's been comfortable placing my hand over the entire device and reaching all the buttons was not a problem for me. Compared to my tablet, it's it definitely does a lot more. So um, these days I use my Artisol D16 Pro tablet a lot uh, for all my drawing needs. It is a screen tablet. And on the left hand side, there are buttons that you can press in a single dial that you can rotate. Now the button mappings are chill, but the problem is it's kind of hard for me to remember the order of the buttons I did the mapping for. And in addition to that, um, the dial is less customizable there's like three different settings that you can toggle between um but you know you have to like rotate through them and when i use different programs i might want to map those keys differently and this would require me to open the driver and change it every time that i want to use a different program or switch between programs um the thing with torbox is that you can create all these multiple presets that you can much more easily switch between, not having to alter individual buttons. Aside from the obvious things about the device, there are some small specific things that I want to point out. Um, one of them is the auto switching between programs, which can be toggled on or off. As someone who multitasks, this is great. Um, also, so I don't have to keep changing things every time I need to use a different program that has intuitively different inputs. Another thing I really liked is the tags or labels for inputs, which are very easy to remember and interpret. 
If there's some control that I don't know the keyboard control for that well, because I would normally click with a mouse for example, I'm probably not going to know what some combination of keys are when I see it on the console. Having a tag is in English is very nice. So for example, say I didn't know control Z was undo, or say undo was some weird combination of like three keys. A lot of um, drivers that I've used for tablets for example, where you combined your key with certain shortcuts like that on the interface it just says you know control z or control whatever whatever combinations of keys it is so sometimes say i don't remember what this button does and i looked at the interface and i still don't know what it does because it says those combination of keys which maybe i don't really know it that well but on torbox you specify those key combinations and it displays it, but it also has a nice plain English tag. So I could say something like these random crazy three keys, this means undo. This other thing, this means like fast forward to the first clip in my like editing program. So that's like a really nice touch to have. Obviously I did run into some challenges or some, you know, thoughts that other thoughts that I have for improvement or uh, struggles with the device. Um, I don't have a lot of suggestions in mind for the buttons. For me, I don't really use the two buttons on the top right even though I can reach them pretty easily. Personally, it feels weird for me to reach them with the films. I think I just don't have a good feel for where they are since they're pretty shallow and I have to kind of like feel for them. Um, it's just a little bit less intuitive for me compared to the other controls. The first installation was 100% smooth, it was very easy to work with, and I immediately got to be able to use the device. However, at one point, I think um, I disconnected the device or something happened, I needed software updates, um, whatever it was, it did connect after a recent restart, and I kept following the instructions to unplug, reset, and hold down the buttons and plug it back in. It took a few tries, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna have to contact them about this, but after one more try, it kind of worked again. Uh, for me, it took a little while to get used to some of the mappings, even though for some of these presets, I, I chose those keys myself. I think this is because um, I just have a habit of hitting the keyboard. I've For my whole life up till now, I've been using the keyboard for all these shortcuts and stuff. So it definitely takes a little bit of time to get used to. But some things were really nice for intuitive input, like using dials for continuous value changes. That, that makes a lot more sense than just repeatedly hitting a key like 10 times to increase some value 10 times. Like instead I could just, you know, swipe my dial some amount and it's all good. I think this problem will definitely go away the more I use it. It just takes more time to get used to. The velvety matte texture as I mentioned before, it's very nice, but my grubby fingers make little oily spots that I have to clean with a cleaning cloth. It's not really that bad, and it's just like a nitpick on my end. It's probably my fault for having such oily little thingies. But in general, it seems like Torbox is always updating and improving. I see that they have a lot of releases for additional software interface changes. So their, their description of the device says that it's able to work for software, like any software. It's very customizable, right? So technically, technically, I could just make a binding for anything. Um, so hypothetically, right, it would work for some other things. Like what if I want to make some binding for uh, streaming for like a certain like OBS crap? Uh, maybe I want it for chatting or coding. Maybe I want it for gaming. You know how mean that would be to bind it for gaming? Just, it would be terrible, but it would be funny, <laughs> right? Unfortunately, I did not have time for that because I am quite busy these days, but maybe that's something I could try in the future, you know, for fun. Maybe I'll do it on stream, who knows? Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you liked this little review, little dive on this fun device, even even by itself, without even connecting to anything. It's, it's definitely a fun fidget device as well, you know? If you're interested on in checking out this device, you can check my links below. I do have an affiliate code, so you could get $10 off and save yourself a little money. Anyways, until next time, I will see 
you later. Bye-bye.